Yeah, because I, I, I think that the jug is a bit better against the egg early because of the spin. Yeah, it's easier is. for you to focus and maybe they want to try and contest the D ward. Chorn's going to be over here as well. Icarus dive forward, then back down again. But Jirax, maybe a little bit too greedy. He couldn't finish up the ward. KP's right behind him. They're going to win Chan. Crush being leveled up right now. Jirax on the run. The crush from KP. Jirax low. Jirax down. Trying to battle for vision, and now they can go for more. Crush is coming back up. Cooldown in one second time. Finally, body blocked up. Chorn behind him too. It's going to be a two for. And that's exactly what you expect. Oh, back behind the tower. That Saddle's not going to last much longer. It's got a blast in one second time, but it also timed out too early. KP goes into the tree lines, crush is available, but it's going to be Chorn to take the kill. Having a spare Saddle up to invade this top lane. Death Prophet, no exorcism yet, and Omni up, not up on the Juggernaut, so they can't invade this tower yet, so they're so safe for maybe a minute Oh, mid lane, damn, that damage from Splinter Blast combining up with the Siphon. Vada back behind the tier one tower, tries to go in this, but just not enough time. Actually, try to call someone wants to keep up the pressure. Not going for that greedy minus. Instead, a uh, very aggressive earn. Hot lane, you got sounds from Kuro. They might be able to go on Hao. He instantly starts to spin as Kuro comes in from the side, but the damage on Hao is so big that it's not enough. The Sun Strike! He got him back at base! Forward, and it looks like he wants to TP down oh. to the bottom, get a kill on Fada. That'll be an easy one for him. Blink, Crush gonna come off. How? He's moving in closer. Got a little bit of crit with the Omni Size, bounced a little bit unfavorably, but still Fada will go down. Out. Nice eyes by Jerex over there. And Liquid are in a pretty good spot because they've only oh, taken down one lane. Oh, no. Here comes KP again. Actually, waited to get the amplification up before he blinked and crushed. Which allows Nubi to have just enough damage before the Lycan can try and smash his KP. Smoke's gonna break a Matamon as well as Moo. KP blinked himself up, already puts the amplification over on Jirax, wants the crush. Fires Matamon, the sun strike from Fata, not gonna connect on anything. And now into the nose, but the Nubi back up with the Ravage, and they have no choice. They have to stay underneath this. And Moo, the cold embrace is keeping him alive for now. And with the curse, Kuro's gonna go down so quickly. KP keeps the crush, it's going to Matamon's on the sideline. A double kill for Kaka. Fear Jirax to fight anything he can. Looking for Moo, who's just dodging sprites left, right, and center. Jirax is silenced up too. He's going nowhere. And Fata's also in trouble. Amplified, there's nowhere to hide. Kaka's looking for a triple if he can get it. The ice wall's down, but Sean will take it. Liquid are wiped from the face of the earth. They're looking for Kuro. Kuro does have a TP scroll available, but they know. They know he's down there. Now they're going to see him KP. He gets the cross off. Kuro can't hide in the tree lines. Juggernaut will be the man to find the kill. Here it is. So Liquid don't even have that option, like, hey, let's just smoke ourselves in, we'll use the Lycan, and we'll, and, we'll, and we'll take out Roshan. The funny thing is, like, Lycan is only just, she hasn't completed up his blinds burnt, Moo's still doing work to that tier 3 tower, and they're smoked up on the back line. They need Nubi to commit harder, and they need more than how to commit. He's the man holding onto the Aegis of the Immortal. Allow him to basically walk in to point blank range on Nubi. The crush will come out, but when is that Ravage going to arrive? How still not spinning with Tumblr controlled up. They're all in close. Mind control. I think it's time to let it rip. The Nova's coming out. Mind control still sitting behind her. And there's your Ravage. Moves in trouble. And maybe they got the damage. Kaka will go down too. How spin ineffective. They're being chased down by Team Liquid. Back behind the tower. You've lost the Phoenix, but that is all from Team Liquid. Wow, that would have been a lot worse at Death Prophet not window where. Roche is up, and there is no Ravage from Liquid. I don't think it will be there, though, with a 90-second Roche in the spawn. A minute and a half until he's up. Say goodbye to Kuro. AP as well as Howe just rotating over. They still have that absurd. Howe won't find the kill, and now Howe's blows the Sun Strike. Thanks to the Force Staff, it's going to miss on Howe. Bring up the Kitty Ward. Nova still not here for Jirax, so he's not put it down. Kuro's in trouble, and the curse! It locks Jirax to the back. Kuro's gonna come over. Jirax, he'll go into the Nova. Kuro, the impetus damage from Chuan will be enough to kill him off. Moose on the run, but the double crush from KP, keeping Liquid inside the base, allowing the double top ball on Silence from Moose with a Crimp Swarm too. They just keep rampaging forward. The buyback's available from the Liga. Jirax gonna start up with that Sunray, trying to find KP, bringing him down low. That will not protect in the cold embrace. So Team Liquid, they hold their melee racks, but... And Team Liquid, well, what a time for the BKB to be up. Team Liquid slips themselves inside the pit. Here comes the slaughter. Blank crush. Catch it out to Matoman as well as Mind Control. They're in this over Mind Control, and now your Ravage will pop move, protected by his BKB with the Omni Slash. You can say goodbye to Bata so quickly. They're trying to focus down Mind Control too. The Nova will not be able to connect as the fight splits up. There is no open. Better vision in the pit, and have not expended that blink with his curse. 
Fado really close to getting that last hit instead. Sunstrike, if he did, it would have been boss, but... But oh. now they give that respect too. The Observer was laying them see Kuro. That OBS was only got two seconds left on it. So KP will try and make the most out of it. Jumping over towards Sparta. Where's that slash? It's just going to be the spin. Sparta's already down the curse. It's locking him in position. g is turning his Sun Ring over. Funny enough, that actually ends up helping them. Until now, the only fans Kuro will drop to. A double kill for Hal. Backing up further. KP with a follow up done. g can't really help out. They'll put down the healing ward. KP hit by the Sun Strike. And now a Team Liquid's turn. The Nova is up. The Ravage on cooldown. For 15 seconds, Simon and Newbie have not achieved their objective. They've done damage to the rain tracks, but they haven't killed off the meat. How will come back in too? That Ravage timing, it is now here. Be ready to jump. Who's BKB? And now the Ravage! They need to bring down the Death Prophet. It's the only way they keep their racks alive with the spin from how causing troubles. And G-Rex with the sun. No, the sun's is coming in. Moves so low! He's gone! How down two! The Agency Mortal will trigger, but Chorn is burning in the sun. They have to back up. No, there he goes. Finally down. They keep the defense in a way, but still. Nubi, so much strength behind them, they're going to bring down that bottom rack. Fortifications delaying the inevitable. It's only the Tidehunter as well as the Phoenix to hold the line. Now this is gone. And maybe more. Can they actually take this tier 3? You don't have the Invoker. It's a minute on the sideline and Mind Control goes down too. Jirax will try and burn up how. Drop the life down, but you've still got the healing ward available. KP's back to the front lines. With amplification over on T-Rex, Liquid just don't have the manpower. And even if they are back up, they have no Ravage fight against. As soon as Death Prophet comes back, she'll have her exorcism. This looks all but lost for Liquid. It really, really does. There'll be one last roll of the dice in 30 seconds time, but you may be facing Megas at the same time. KP gonna miss his initiation. He's the only one from Ruby with the separator from the primary pack. Lycan is back up and running. So there goes your tier 3 tower. Still no invoker, still no tidehunter, still no control. How's it gonna spin and beat into the rack this way? And then KP gets a jump over on Jirak. You can say goodbye to that Fiend, he'll fly back with the Omni Slash. Kuro's gonna go down as well. Stay where he wants, but Matama wouldn't actually get the extra hit from that Omni Slash. Matama, what do you wanna do? You wanna run around, come back for the Wyvern, but the curse actually stops mind control as he blinked in. He's beating down on Matama, and they'll blink themselves forward. This will blast to find the revenge kills. And now it's Liquid throwing their bodies towards Nubi. Farther too far on the front line. Smooth Exorcism is up. They're all going down, and GG! Nubi will take game one against Team Liquid. It is just too much for Liquid to repel. What a superb draft coming out from Nubi. I think the, with the Wizard Wyvern was just the absolute key pick versus that first pick Lycan. And also was just miraculously good against the Tidehunter. Who needs a Disruptor? And also, a lot of accommodation has to go out to Chuan in his early game play on that Enchantress. Yeah, the, the boarding, the fact that G-Rex also committed to it, that Icarus dive, like, I'm, I'm surprised that even happened. I'd love to know the reason why he did that. Uh, but then the rest of Liquid trying to come in to help him out too, so you lose the early vision, and then Chuan does, like, Chuantress things, takes over the dire jungle.